Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Croak, and today we are going over the best money making methods in the game right now. So, if you want a yacht like mine, you want to blow money on insane things, follow this guide and you'll do just that. So, make sure you like the video, comment down below, and I'll comment back and also subscribe for more daily content. Let's get into the video. Heading into our first money making method, I always recommend having the terabyte for this one because it has basically everything, all your businesses all in one. So I am a CEO of my business, as you can see, Croak Gaming YouTube right here. And we're gonna head right over to the touch screen. So it's gonna be really, really nice for the week. It's 1.5 money and RP for special cargo. You always wanna do three crates at $18,000 and when you sell it, you'll get 1.5 more multiplied, more money. So essentially this is going to be the meta for the week and the more warehouses you have, the more you could run this. So there is a cooldown of a few minutes. So if I do the Darnell Bros warehouse and I just filled that and I only have that warehouse, there is a cooldown. You could do something else like a vehicle cargo mission but essentially, you wanna have multiple warehouses because you can keep running nonstop. And the more people you have, obviously the faster and more money you will make, guys. So we're always going to do the three crates. You wanna have an MK2 or a helicopter, anything that's quick, get your buddies along, and essentially you'll be making a ton of money when you do sell. It is not half off. And you also want to run to the business itself and pay for that extra crate because it does come in handy. It will make you that much more money. And essentially, this is the meta for the week. When you sell, guys, you'll make 1.5 more times more money when you sell. So I'm gonna fast forward this and on to the next method when we get to the end here. Alrighty, so we are heading to our business right now to drop off. So it's really, really easy. Always go for the three crates. So you maximize that return and essentially it is super easy and you want to just bring a buddy along or if you have two other people, it'll be that much easier because you're going to be bringing in crates like that. So when you sell, that is when you're going to make that 1.5 bonus on the crates themselves. So remember, you want to buy the crate when you get inside from the NPC that is standing in the warehouse. Let me see if I could find her or him. It's going to be right over, where is this person? Usually hanging out in here. So we're gonna go around right over here. Sorry, I totally messed that up. That's all right. So also you wanna to talk to Lupe, source special cargo and boom, that is also going, getting you an extra crate there. And we're gonna head over to the computer and you will essentially be able to sell here. This is where you wanna go when you are ready to sell, as you can see, You'd sell all of the crates for 3.2 million. This is one of my warehouses I have four others and I have them stocked. This is the time to do it and you want to be in a lobby. If you want to make the most amount of money, be in a pack lobby, but it's going to be more dangerous. But I, I would say shoot for the smaller lobbies, but you'll just have to try to find new sessions each and every time. So you just essentially sell and make sure you have a buddy or two along with you. On to the next mission here. Heading into our next money-making method, you're gonna go to your options, online, jobs, plague jobs, and rockstar creator. You're gonna go down to the adversary mode and hit that up arrow. And from the bottom going up, you're going to go to the slasher series. These are all double money and double RP. You can choose whatever you would like. So obviously you want to maximize your money and RP by getting the most amount of people into these lobbies. So just like this, I'll show you guys the host settings here real quick. And then I'll just get into a game and show you guys how it's done. So team balancing, I always have it on. So one team is not always stacked. You want to have the max amount of rounds, which is four and confirm settings and essentially you're just going to invite as many people as possible so you want to have eight players in here so you get the most amount of rp and money Alrighty, guys we are getting into gameplay right now so there's gonna be two teams and we're gonna see which one we're on right here so the hunted you are on the hunted team turn on the flashlight flashlight by aiming l2 so we're gonna hide from the slasher and obviously <laughs> died right away i'm like all right they put the slasher right by one of the people so i said you want to pack the lobby 
and you want to have as many people as possible here. So essentially, you're just going to hide from the slasher. And the slasher's right there trying to kill you, so you don't want to die. Alrighty, so we are the round winner. You can take out the slasher with the flashlight, but you don't want to get killed. So if you only have three people, you get $8,500 if you do win. So it will be more money if you have that much more people in and you play the max amount of rounds, which is four. So we're going to go on here. So there's two teams, the hunter, which they're, try they're trying to find you. They have the shotgun and the hunted. You just have a flashlight and you want to hide if you are on the the hunted as you see right here so we died right away you know the first little round here so you don't want to die so we could hide we could turn on the flashlight but we do want to run away here and not get killed right off the bat so it's very very interesting oh i think that was my teammate there hopefully but uh we do want to run oh yeah that's my teammate so we can't go in here so it's very, very interesting. It is kind of like a Halloween theme. Well, I know it's a Halloween theme. So, and you can feel it in the controller that you're getting closer to the slash that it'll start beeping. I'm on the PS5 here. So it'll start beeping like crazy and you do not want to die. This is a, this is a fun little uh, way to kind of <laughs> play a game it's not the greatest I mean it, it would be more fun if there's more people I mean what could you do you have a flashlight and the other person has a shotgun so this person obviously has been playing for a quite a long time here and is in the bathroom that's kind of funny I did not know you can go in there but that's uh, that's a great way we're learning as we go because this is a new new adversary mode that came out I believe last week so all right, if you do win the round, you get 14.9K cash, 1,800 RP, and if you lost, you'll get much less. So obviously, if you have more people, the more money you will win. And essentially, if you run that timer down all the way and you are the hunted, you can go out and hunt the hunter, which is essentially pretty fun, especially if you have a packed lobby. I'm just doing it to show you guys how to get this done. So it is a fun little game. So I am the hunter right now. So you want to go out and find the people that are the hunted. So essentially, this is a good spot right here because I know they're going to come in here and they're going to hide in the stall because that's what they've been doing for the whole time, especially my group. So we're going to see if they actually come in here and see what they do. All right, that is the end of the match. We have three people in here. We made 64K and 4,320 RP if you do win in at least 20 minutes here. So I won this all. It was really, really fun. I had a good time. We didn't get a pack lobby. It was somewhat hard to find a lobby. So if you you are doing it, try and try again. I had a good time doing it. Halloween theme. So on to the next money-making method. All right, heading into our next money-making method, we are going to go to online, play job, rockstar created, and survival. From the bottom going up, any of our alien uh, survival missions are going to be right here. It's double money and double RP for the week. So you're only going to have to have four other people, including yourself, so three others, and you can pick any one that your heart desires here. So if you enjoyed the video so far, please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe so i'm gonna go ahead, i'm gonna go over the hosting settings that you want to get into and then we'll just go into a game so endless waves you can enable that and you want to purchase super heavy body armor essentially and but i mean it's really up to you if you want to do endless waves or have it disabled you just want to keep going and all that so i'm gonna get into a game and show you guys how it's done Alrighty, so essentially it's going to be a survival and you are going to be in a cool little alien suit here. So what you want to do is just not die and you'll do just fine. You do want to pick up a good weapon. So all the weapons over here are good. Any of uh, the laser type weapons are really good. So I would probably go with this guy right here, our little uh, laser cannon. And uh, it will run out decently fast. So... You're just going to have to take out the enemies and you do not want to die. If you do die and your partner does not, it'll have to be at the end of the round that you'll get to respawn. So that's kind of funny that they have uh, these regular humans coming after, but we're going to just go through this round 
and I will show you guys how much money and how many rounds we do reach at the end. I don't want you just seeing countless boring gameplay here. So we're just taking out uh, the humans rather than the other way around. So we'll see you guys at the end. So we did survive wave wave one and we had 10 kills. The other person's just not doing a thing. So is what it is, you know, hopefully you don't get an NPC playing with you here. So we're going to get into the house if we can. And you pick up body armor, all that good stuff. So body armor is going to be right over here. You want to get that and a lot of ammo for your weapons. So just keep it simple. Don't die and you'll do just fine. All right, guys, so we reached wave four and made an easy $10,000 and 910 RP. So every four rounds, you get 10K, so not too bad. Just make sure you have all the spots filled. So three other people, so a total of four people, and on to the next method. Heading into our next money-making method, we are going to go to options, online, and community jobs. So any of these are going to be double money and double RP, the ones that you do see. So crazy golf race is basically a race for the week. So we're going to do this one right here. We haven't ran this one, so we're going to see if we can get into a packed lobby. That's what you want, the max amount of people. And the better place when you get, the more money and RP you do get. So you want to put a lot of laps on, get your buddies. And just like we have right here, we are going to get into a double money and double money or double money and double RP race can't talk right now. So essentially, it's up to you if you want to have custom vehicles and how many laps. I would do around, you know, six to eight laps. And you don't want to, you want to have ghost mode on, but it essentially comes down to what you want in your little race here. So once we get into that, into the race, we'll show you guys how it's done. And hopefully, play us really high to show you guys how much money we actually make. All right, guys, we did finish second place, so let's see how much money we do win. So I won $82,000, and let's see the RP for this race is 10,000 RP. You cannot go wrong. You just got to place in the top three, and you'll do just great. And we were off by just a little bit, so let's see how much the first place gets, 109K cash so and 15K RP. So that was second place. We did work, so on to the next money-making method. All right, guys, on to our next money making method. It's going to be time trial and it's going to be end to end. And you have to beat it in four minutes and 9.5 seconds. This week, it is located right over here with the purple stopwatch. And it is very, very simple. It is a little bit longer, but it is easy money. You can do it only once per week where you get paid out. So follow what I do and you'll get the quickest time. And make sure you have your fastest vehicle. I always go with the Kukchi Drag because it is the fastest vehicle in the game.
For our next money-making method, we're going to be doing the HSW time trial, which is terminal for the week, and you have to beat it in a 4 minutes and 15 seconds. So if you do that, you'll easily get 253k. It's only for next generation consoles, so follow what I do and get the fastest vehicle you have. I would always recommend the Hakuchi Drag, but it's personally up to you. All right, for this money-making method, you're going to do RC Bandito time trial. It's going to be Little Soul Park, and you have to beat it in a minute and 10 seconds, guys. That is located, it's a purple remote control right over here. It's an easy 101K. I'll go through the fastest method, so sit back, relax, and watch here, guys. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you follow along with the directions, you too can have a garage just like mine. Have a good one. I'm Croak, and I'm out.